<laughs> yeah, that's what I said in my write-up. I was like, oh, doomsday or whatever. But, um, you know, watching those two, it, like Alex talked about Jonte, and it, it's one practice, and it's – but I've been seeing Jonte since he was, you know, a couple years removed – or into high school, junior year and senior year of high school. I've always thought Jonte had something special. Um, those two dudes, man, they're going to be a they're going to be a handful for opposing defenses, and that doesn't even get into you know all the other guys that, that all the other weapons Texas has. But those two alone, you know, I'm not going to say they're going to be Xavier Worthy and Adonai Mitchell, but you know, you lose those two t- two types of talents, two first round talents, likely to the NFL. Usually, you're expecting a huge drop off at the receiver position. I don't know that we're going to see a huge drop off from those two because I think Jonte. You know, Isaiah Bond, man, I think both those dudes have something special. Uh, our guy, former five-star offensive lineman, uh, Alfio VC, also Alfio Randall VC, back yeah. in the day, says Roy <laughs> Williams never dropped a ball. Now, come on, Alfio. Come yeah. on now. Roy the probably only needed one hand, too. Like, yeah, Roy probably never that, did drop a ball. That's the thing. Roy would drop a ball because he was trying to make it as difficult as he would behind it, one hand behind his back. He, he played football so easily that in practice, he would just toy with the football. Occasionally it happened Alfio. I promise. Occasionally. It's good to have former five-star offensive linemen in the chat. All right, guys, my last question, we kind of talked about, you know, the sports car. You talked about the big guys who was – we haven't talked anything about defensive linemen really yet. So, who was your jungle cat of the day? 